And I really want to thank all those people that led the festival beforehand. So if you do see Varen, if you do see Kate, if you do see Tim or you see someone that was an early mover, really thank them for laying the groundwork for making this a great festival. So really go through that program, look at those names. If you see them, thank them. So you're not in New Hampshire yet, but that doesn't mean that you can't be involved. And Jason's here, so I want to thank him for coming up with this great idea and founding this wonderful project that's brought us all together. But it's important to remember, as Porkfest has grown, what has stayed the same? We want to be able to see the state, meet the people, become part of the community. New Hampshire Liberty Lights, did you see the shirt? The two wolves and the sheep? Yeah. What I love about this shirt is it's in your face and we don't have to explain it to anyone in the crowd. Um, Typically from the Liberty Alliance, many of you may know Don Gorman. Nope. He, is the, yeah, he is the godfather of libertarian politics in this state. He was a presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party. He was a sitting state rep for many years. He can't be with us here tonight, and it's kind of a serious reason, and I wanted to share with you. His wife is very, very ill right now. She's spending time in hospital, and the Gorman family would really appreciate any cards, letters, emails, shows of support for them at a very, very difficult time. So I, I encourage any of you that know who Don is, let him know that, that we're thinking about him. Now Don usually gives a speech that he calls the, what the hell are you waiting for speech. I can't do that speech. But I can tell you a little bit about what the Liberty Alliance has done. And what I've learned doing this, because I never did any of this stuff when I lived in California or Wisconsin. I never picked up the state constitution. And I've come to appreciate something really, really important. It's clear to me, reading the structure of the New Hampshire government, that there is an intention. They actually thought about things pretty well, and there's a reason for a lot of what's in the Constitution. It's clear to me as day that the purpose of the House of Representatives of the state of New Hampshire is that it's the house designed for the people to take when the government goes too far. Over the past week, I know a dozen porcupines who've been in the state two years at the time of the 2008 elections and therefore have filed to become state representatives to join Joel Winters in his fight and the other natives who've been in the house. And personally, I'm gonna be doing everything possible to help these people win. They're running credible, real races. Some of you may be aware that there's a right to revolution clause in the Constitution. You've heard that, but have you actually read the words? These people are serious. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slave-ish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. This means you're not supposed to obey if it's a bad law, if it's arbitrary power. You're not supposed to obey. Some of a gun is right here in the Constitution. But the one that I think is even better and more pertinent to our time, perhaps. Some people are familiar with the Tenth Amendment. People talk about the right of states to be, you know, do their own thing and not have the federal government dictate what the states do. But in New Hampshire, we've got this state sovereignty clause. It's kind of like a contract where it's not just the feds that said, you guys can do what you want, and then they took it away. On our side of the contract, it says... The people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free, sovereign, and independent state. Yeah. I just can't get over how much power there is in here for people who just stand up and have read the dang thing. The government here is so approachable, you just have to show up. You can walk right in. There's no metal detector. In fact, you can carry your gun into the state house. They, they tried to stop that, but uh, the gun owners in New Hampshire, they show up. <laughs> they show up. And it's all it takes in so many cases, showing up and knowing the rules that often your opponent doesn't know. And more and more of us, the people who agree with us, 
have already been on that side of the bench in the government are helping us, want us to join them on that side, if even a few of the dozen people that are running to join Joel in New Hampshire House of Representatives get in. That's our message coming from their peers. And it's not just Joel, and it's not just Dan Itza, and it's not any other of the over one dozen. It's actually 17 reps that got A pluses. That means they're more libertarian than most libertarian friends you have <laughs> that are already in the state house. The more ways that our messages come across from more people, the more normal we're going to seem. Speak for yourself, Dennis. <laughs> if you just look at the numbers, uh, the Free State Project is growing by leaps and bounds. So we've had a, a, a definite growth in the number of people running for office here. Uh, in New Hampshire, uh, and, and I, uh, I'm willing to bet that we'll see more than one elected uh, this year. The Pork Fest, uh, I don't know if it's the largest, but if, if not the largest, it's close to the largest libertarian event in the world, right? single event in the world, uh, in terms of number of attendees. There's going to be a market. We're seeing successes here in New Hampshire. We're seeing uh, the advance of freedom. We're seeing statist uh, um, onslaughts being stopped and people are choosing different strategies for that and the strategies that succeed are going to attract more people and that's inevitable over time we know for certainty a virtual certainty there are going to be many more free staters in New Hampshire next year than there are this year and two years from now there are going to be more uh, than there are a year from now there are going to be more and more free staters in New Hampshire there are going to be more and more freedom successes in New Hampshire there will be more and more people attracted by those freedom successes and moving to New Hampshire. And people are going to be attracted by those particular strategies that are, that are really effective in creating freedom. There's going to be a market process that leads people to focus on the most effective strategies here in New Hampshire. And that's why I'm, I'm optimistic about our chances. Uh, so the future is bright here for us. Um, it's just great here to see, uh, to see all the new faces at, uh, at Pork Fest and know that, uh, that really the future of freedom uh, is in their hands. Uh, it's in the hands of all of us, um, and we are going to we are going to win. You guys, if you're if you haven't moved here yet, and you've been investigating the Free State Project, this is such a fantastic weekend. The friends that I've made, Dennis and Irina Goddard, all the wonderful people who have come on my program on my radio show. The guys from Free Talk Live are going to be here. The people from SACL CAI from Defiance, Ohio, coming down he here, coming up here. To do all this great stuff, the music, just try to spread the word as, as much as possible because from a native guy, I cannot tell you how much this means to me to see all these people here who believe in individual liberty. So I just want to say that and uh, Rich, thanks for letting me come up and have a great weekend everybody. Take care.